Hello and welcome to Catalone API testing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the types of variables supported by Catalone Studio and I'll also touch base on the profiles in Catalone Studio. So I'm on the docs, Catalone docs uh, page at the moment if you see and the types of variables that are supported in Catalone Studio are three types. The first one is the groovy variable that is supported in the groovy scripting if you're doing the scripts then the second one is test case variable and the third one is the global variable which is part of the execution profiles and that's why i'll be covering the profile in catalone studio as well so as part of this tutorial we will cover test case variable and the global variable and the profiles and groovy variables we will cover once i start with the scripting because uh, we haven't started with the automated uh, scripts yet so it's best to understand test case variable and global variable first before we go ahead and understand the groovy variable we'll cover groovy variable once we start with the scripting so the first variable that we'll be covering is the test case variable so let's go to the catalone studio and we'll open some of the requests here so i'll open create a task and then i'll say get task details right so if you see these two requests here so the first request is the get task details which is the get method and we have hard coded this value here which is the uh, task gid right now that's not the good practice if you are going to automate or do the testing of the api or any sort of testing hard coding any values in the test itself is not a good practice because say for example you have hard coded this value in 15 different test cases and tomorrow the this value gets changed or you are you want to do a parameterization or you want to test the same test cases with different um, task ids then you have to go through all those 15 test cases and update this which is really tedious job so and that is why we need to understand the profiles and the uh, variables in detail so that we can utilize these and have a good maintainability of our test cases so what we can do is here is we can define this value or we can define a variable in the test case test case itself or we can define it at the global level in the profiles so how we can define it in the test case level is simply if you open this particular request in this uh, here the headers so you'll see authorization uh, verification in the variable section you can click on add to add a variable okay and it will automatically number it so you can provide the name so i'll say task gid and then here you can define the type whether it's string number boolean uh, whether it's a global variable right so all these things you can define so what we'll do is we'll just say leave it as string and then we can provide the value here okay so we can provide the value as the gid value right and that will be uh, passed on so we'll change it to number because this is the task gid and we'll change the value right so now this number how do we access this number from the variable so the command is pretty similar or the uh, format is very simple so you just say dollar okay so on this request here i'll edit it just dollar curly brace and then the name of the variable which is task underscore GID all right and close curly brace so now this line here the highlighted one will be able to access this variable the value in this task GID variable and append that value in this after the task here in the resource and once you will hit this request it will send you the response so let me save all these details so here if you see the small star that means the request hasn't been saved so let's save this particular request and now you'll see the star has gone so that means this request has been saved let's run it and it should give us the task details that we have provided so you can see this is the task gid that we provided 
and we have got the details of this task from this particular response now that's how you will set up the local or the test case variable now what about the global variable so when when it comes to global variable there is an option to define the global variable in the profile now here if you see there is a default profile right so profile in catalon studio is uh, has been provided to enable us to maintain or manage multiple test environments or execution in multiple uh, environments through the usage of profile so what we can do is we can define multiple profiles so for example you have three test environments one pre-prod environment and a production environment you can define a profile for each of these environments and in these profiles you can set up your global variables and access accordingly so now here there is a default profile and here in the right hand side at the top you, if you can see this is the profile drop down which will list the profile now because there is just one profile with that has been selected and when we are defining our variables we are basically defining the variable at the default level so let's first understand the definition uh, defining of global variable in the default profile so to define it just open the profile and in the profile you'll see an option to add okay so we'll add the name so we'll say just task gid and then we'll change the type to number and then we'll provide the value okay and that's pretty much it that's how you define the variables at the global level okay let's save this request and uh, sorry this profile and then we'll try to access the value that is in this task gid from the global level okay before that we'll also um, define one more variable say for example project gid okay and we'll use this project gid in this particular json request uh, or payload and we won't hard code this value here so we'll take this value from the default profile or a default profile global variable so i'll open this variable and i'll add another variable we'll say project gid change it to the type number and we'll provide the value okay so now we have two variables defined one is the task gid and another one is the project gid now when we go to the create task so in the get task detail let's try to access the task gid not from the local variable or the test case variable but from the global variable to do that the only thing you have to change is basically just to add global variable okay dot task gid and this is case sensitive so uh, g will be caps v is caps so global variable dot task gid and now once you save all these requests here then the value that will be picked the task gid value that will be picked will be picked from the global variable which is in the default profile and not from this local variable okay so let's try to run this before running because these both values are same then you won't be able to figure out which value is being picked up so let me change the value that i have defined at the global level the, the task gid value here and i'll make it some invalid value okay so that it is very clear that the global variable is being picked up okay so we have saved all the requests let's run this and see the response so now you can see task not a recognized id because this is the id that we have defined at the global variable level in the default profile and that is not a valid gid so which clarifies that this task gid that we have defined here as global variable dot task gid is being picked up from the global variable in the default profile and not the test case variable okay so syntax is very similar uh, you just have to say dollar curly brace global variable dot task gid or the name of the variable in the global uh, context and close the curly brace to access the global variable to access the test case variable dollar curly brace task underscore gid or the name of the variable so that's how you will access the local and global variable in the 
in your resource now coming back to create a task okay so in creating a task we had provided or hard coded the project gid in the json right so now if you want to remove this hard coding from this json request the format or syntax will be exactly similar so dollar curly brace global variable dot project underscore gid or the name of the variable that you are going to define in the default profile so now this project gid will be picked up from the default profile project gid this value will be picked up in this particular test case let's save all these uh, requests and if you run this now you'll get the same response that the task has been created successfully and this is the task id that has been created right so status is 201 created and it has been successful let's change the value in the default profile and i'll put some junk value there so that you can easily correlate that the value that is being picked up from the project gid is actually from this default profile let's run it again and now the request should fail so you can see this value is not a recognized id okay so that's about the test case and global variables in catalon studio how you can define it and then how you can access it into your json request or into your resource and the other thing that we covered is around the profiles so we'll cover a bit more on the profiles and how you can use profiles to define different test environments and work on the profiles in the next tutorial so hope you like the video thank you very much for watching